I just want to say that adding a riving knife to a table saw is a good way to prevent kickback accidents. And keeping your sandwich in the truck is a good way to prevent Ruff from co-opting it. But that's not what we're talking about in this video. We're talking about saving energy when adding living space in an attic. Normally, insulation is on the attic floor, held in place with ventilation baffles that allow air to come in at the eaves so it can exit through the ridge vent. If you're doing remodeling work, you'll have to scoop the insulation out of the way so you can get some work done. But since we're building this house right now, the insulators are still a month away, giving us time to seal the attic properly. The tops of walls are huge air leaks running the length of the walls. Wood framing shrinks back from the drywall and from framing connections. Unless you seal those gaps, air will whistle through them all day, every day. The other thing we do is install a series of rigid insulation blocks along the edge of the living space that we're creating to define the thermal boundary. We're also going to replace those mini baffles with full length baffles because the rafter cavities will get insulated when the insulators show up. When we do that, we need to seal the baffles to the framing with canned foam and seal the framing gaps with sealant in every rafter bay. Now we can plumb up from the foam blocks to add more foam blocks to where the knee wall will be. Those blocks will also need to be sealed to the baffles and framing. It's a great idea to insulate below the floor for acoustical isolation. Now we can glue and screw that subfloor to the framing and frame the knee walls. Seal the edge of the subfloor to the foam blocks and add a layer of foam outside the knee wall. Tape that seam. Now we can insulate the wall cavities and add drywall to keep the insulation from falling out. Seal the rigid foam board to the rafter blocks with canned foam and you're ready to set the insulators loose filling the floor outside the living space and the rafter cavities above the living space. This is one way to create a continuous thermal boundary that'll keep that living space livable. But good luck with that sandwich struggle. <laughs>